you, you mentioned Kettles earlier, but you did a mm. lot of work with uh, Kieran Kettle too, mm -hmm. uh, the Double K. Yeah. Uh, what was that experience like? Because th that was that was filled with like champions at that, mm. especially at that time. Um, can you tell me about some of your memories uh, training with Kieran and how how you ended up working with him? Yeah, great memories down there. Got a lot of time and respect for Kieran. He done a lot for me. That's obviously Alan's brother, um, and he had his own little thing going on and. I just made the decision, I knew a few fighters that were training with him, uh, to get some training in with him. And it just started off that way and uh, we got on really well um, as a fighter and coach relationship. You know, I respected him a lot as a fighter and a coach himself. And the, the stable of fighters there was unbelievable. At that time, it was, yeah, unreal. Some of the guys that, you know, we was training with were the top, top level. Yeah. And uh, yeah, it showed, you know, when we was all competing together and uh, training with each other, we all pushed each other. So it was a great to have that mix of the both gyms, of the two gyms that I was training at. And it, uh, I imagine this is around the time with the uh, the Muay Thai Grand Prix, because mm -hmm. like, Kieran was a, a co-founder over there, a promoter at the time. Um, was that when you started competing uh, on those cards? or? Yeah, yeah. I mean, it started off, um, him and Simon done one at uh, Leisure Centre in Essex, I believe. I think it was called Nak Moy, if my memory serves me right. And I think I fought on their one there. And then that transition to when they turned it into Muay Thai Grand Prix. 